Hello, I am Dr. Rode in Kwan, the author of Master Books. In this video, we'll be exploring the Active Battery Management System, or BMS. Typical BMS systems operate on a cost-effective supply method, initiating voltage balancing only when the battery reaches its fully charged voltage, consuming excess energy from over-voltage cells. However, this active BMS excels by performing battery balancing tasks even before reaching the fully charged voltage. It employs a direct balancing method, where it channels current directly from high-voltage cells to low-voltage cells. This approach boasts high balancing energy efficiency and a short duration, providing advantages in terms of both efficiency and time. JK BMS, being a smart BMS, offers users freedom and high stability. It enables battery management through Bluetooth connectivity and a dedicated monitor. As a result, it allows users to identify and address potential issues with the battery quickly and accurately before any significant problems occur, enhancing safety and preventing fires. Therefore, we decided to replace our existing BMS with the active BMS. This battery pack consists of 22 series connected batteries. Despite having many balance cables, the testing process using a tester to check the connection order proved to be very convenient. This BMS supports usage from 1 to 24 series connections. Unused series cells should be left empty, and the last positive cable should also be connected to the far NV+. We used anti-spark connectors, specifically the QS8 connectors, for connecting to the battery. These connectors have a spec of 110 at constant 300 a peak current rating. After connecting the battery pack discharge cable to the connector, we attached the balance connector. We also connected two temperature sensor connectors to the BMS. Finally, we connected either a switch connector or a monitor connector. There are monitors available for installation on the handlebars or on the wall. The wall-mounted monitor is particularly suitable for energy storage systems, as it allows voltage measurement of battery serial cell blocks. The handlebar monitor displays battery gauge, current usage in amperes, and voltage. However, there may be an error showing 0% battery gauge momentarily when using high output, which may take up to a day to display the battery level correctly again. BMS Setting Guide After installing and launching the JK BMS app, you can find the app address on the video board or in the pinned comments. Click on the scan button to connect to the BMS. The initial password required for changing settings is 123456. Firstly, navigate to the Settings tab. Click on Verify PWD. Enter the initial password 123456. Step 1 Use pre-entered configuration values. Li-ion. Click if you are using lithium-ion or lithium polymer batteries. LuffApo 4. Click if you are using lithium iron phosphate batteries. LTO. Click if you are using lithium titanate. Li-4T5012. Batteries. Since we are using lithium ion here, we will explain the voltage configuration based on this. It is recommended to leave a margin for battery lifespan when configuring. Step 2 Basic Settings Cell Count Enter the number of batteries in series Battery Capacity Amper Hour Enter the battery capacity in amper hours Ah. Balance Trigger Volt When set, balancing will commence when the configured voltage difference among battery cells occurs Calibrating Volt If the current voltage is displayed incorrectly, input the corrected value here Most of the time, there are no issues, so refrain from making adjustments Calibrating current amper. If the displayed current is inaccurately shown, input the corrected value here. Most of the time, there are no issues, so refrain from making adjustments. Step 3 Advanced Settings Start Balance Volt. Set the battery balance initiation voltage. It is recommended to start balancing at a point between 4.0 volts to 4.2 volts, corresponding to the completion of full battery charging voltage. Max Balance Current Amper. The higher the number, the faster the battery balancing speed. For frequent fast charging or large battery capacities, a higher balance number is preferable. Cell OVP Volt, Cell Over Voltage Protection Voltage, this represents the maximum allowable voltage for each battery cell. If exceeded, the BMS will either stop charging or initiate discharge to protect the battery from damage. SOC 100% Volt, State of Charge at 100% Voltage, 
This signifies the battery cell voltage at a 100% charge state. For lithium-ion batteries, SOC 100% volt is typically 4.2 volts, while for lithium iron phosphate batteries, it's usually 3.6 volts. Cell OVPR, cell overvoltage protection release. This is the voltage at which the BMS activates the protection feature if the cell voltage surpasses the set value. Set this at 4.2 volts or 4.25 volts for safety, especially for lithium ion batteries. For lithium ion batteries, the typical cell OVPR value is 4.2 volts. For lithium iron phosphate batteries, the typical cell OVPR value is 3.6 volts. Cell UVPR volt, cell under voltage protection release voltage. This is the voltage at which the BMS activates the protection feature if the cell voltage drops below the set value. For lithium ion batteries, cell UVPR is typically set at 3.0 volts, while for lithium iron phosphate batteries, it's usually 2.5 volts. SOC 0% volt, state of charge at 0% voltage, this signifies the battery cell voltage at a 0% charge state, indicating the voltage threshold indicating complete battery discharge. For lithium ion batteries, a 3.0 volt setting is recommended, and for lithium iron phosphate batteries, a 2.5 volt setting is recommended. Cell UVP volt, cell under voltage protection voltage, this indicates the voltage at which the BMS activates the protection feature when the cell voltage drops below the set value. It can be set slightly lower than cell UVPR. For lithium ion batteries, a recommended usage is 2.85 volts. Power off volt. This represents the system power cut off voltage. It is a protective feature where the BMS cuts off the system power if the battery voltage falls below the set value. For lithium ion batteries, the recommended range is 2.5 to 2.7 volts as the cutoff limit. Continued charge current amper. Set the continuous charging current. Specify the limit in amperes for the continuous charge current. Typically, for mobility devices like electric bicycles with a 10 a battery pack, the maximum charge current is 8 or less. For example, if a single battery can handle to a charging, a battery connected in parallel with 5 cells can handle up to 10 a charging. Please refer to the battery cell specifications when configuring. Charge OCP delay second. Charge overcurrent protection delay time. This denotes the delay time for the charger overcurrent protection. It is the time the charger waits after detecting an overcurrent situation before actually cutting off the output. Do not set it too long, as an excessively long delay time can expose the system to risks in actual overcurrent situations. Also, do not set it too short as a very short delay time can lead to unnecessary charge cutoffs due to temporary current spikes. Charge OCPR time second. Charge over current protection recovery time. This represents the recovery time for charge over current protection. It is the duration from when the charger detects an overcurrent situation, cuts off the output, to when it resumes normal charging. Do not set it too short as an excessively short time may restart charging before the overcurrent issue is completely resolved posing a risk. Also, do not set it too long, as an overly long time can excessively prolong the charging duration. Continued Discharge Current Amper Set the limit for continuous discharge current. Discharge OCP Delay Second Discharge Over Current Protection Delay Time This signifies the delay time for discharge over current protection. It is the time the BMS waits after detecting a discharge current exceeding the set value before actually cutting off the output. Discharge OCPR time second. Discharge over current protection recovery time. This represents the recovery time for discharge over current protection. It is the duration from when the BMS detects a discharge current exceeding the set value to when it allows normal discharge again. Charge opt Celsius. Charge over temperature protection. This feature reduces charging current or completely stops charging. If the battery temperature exceeds the set allowable limit, preventing battery overheating. Charge Opt Celsius. Charge over temperature protection recovery temperature. This refers to the battery temperature needed for the BMS to allow normal charging again after detecting a situation where the battery temperature exceeds the set maximum allowable temperature during charging. Discharge OTP Celsius. Discharge over temperature protection recovery temperature. This denotes the battery temperature required for the BMS to permit normal discharge again after detecting a situation where the battery temperature exceeds the set maximum allowable temperature during discharge. Discharge OTPR Celsius. 
Discharge over temperature protection recovery temperature. This signifies the battery temperature needed for the BMS to allow normal discharge again after detecting a situation where the battery temperature exceeds the set maximum allowable temperature during discharge. Charge UTP Celsius. Charge under temperature protection. This represents the functionality to interrupt or restrict the charging process if the temperature of the charging unit falls below the set minimum allowable temperature. Charge UTPR Celsius. Charge UTPR Celsius signifies the upper temperature limit during battery charging. If this temperature is exceeded, the BMS interrupts charging to protect the battery. MOSFET OTP Celsius. MOSFET over temperature protection. This refers to the temperature at which the BMS takes action to prevent MOSFET damage by detecting a situation where the temperature of the MOSFET exceeds the set maximum allowable temperature. MOSFET OTPR Celsius, MOSFET over temperature protection recovery temperature. This refers to the MOSFET temperature required for the BMS to allow normal operation again after detecting a situation where the temperature of the MOSFET exceeded the set maximum allowable temperature and protective measures were taken. SCP Delay Microsecond, Short Circuit Protection Delay SCP Delay represents the delay time before the BMS activates short circuit protection after detecting a short circuit situation. Typically, SCP Delay is set between 100 microseconds and 1 millisecond. Setting it too short may result in false detections, while setting it too long increases the risk of damage due to a short circuit. Microseconds are a unit of time equivalent to 1 millionth of a second. SCPR Time Second Short Circuit Protection Recovery Time SCPR Time Second signifies the time required for the BMS to allow normal operation again after detecting a short circuit situation and activating the short circuit protection. Device Address Device Address refers to the unique identifier for each device in a BMS network using the RAS-485 communication method. User Private Data User Private Data records the name of the person who made the settings. Connection Wire Resistance Setting This corrects the resistance value of the wires connected to the battery cells. This does not change the settings. Step 4 Control Tab Modify PWE Modify Password Allows changing the password. Charge Enables or disables the charging function. Discharge Enables or disables the battery discharge function. Balance Turns on or off the battery cell voltage balancing. Emergency. Enabling emergency control in JK BMS results in the following actions. Emergency system shutdown. The BMS immediately cuts off all outputs to safely shut down the system. This is a precautionary measure to prevent system damage and fire hazards in case of risks such as overcharging, overheating, or short circuits. Alarms and indications. The BMS notifies the user of the emergency situation through visual and audible alarms. The alarm method may vary between models but commonly uses LED indicators, LCD screens, buzzers, or sirens. Some BMS systems can also send email or SMS notifications. Data logging. The BMS records the time, cause, and related data when an emergency situation occurs. This information is crucial for troubleshooting and preventing recurrence. System restart. After resolving the emergency situation, the system administrator needs to restart the system. It's essential to identify and address the root cause before restarting. Disable Temp Sensor Sets up the BMS to not use the temperature sensor if it is not in use. Port Switch Power Port Switch Controls the power to the battery pack, typically using a common switch located externally on the BMS case. Communication Port Switch Introduces the switch for communication purposes, allowing communication with external devices such as monitoring systems or computers. Check the appropriate options for devices using RS-485 or can bust port communication. Display always on, enabling this feature. Display always on means the BMS display is continuously active, allowing real-time monitoring of battery information and system status. Smart sleep on, enabling smart sleep on activates the smart sleep mode, where the BMS enters a low power mode to reduce battery usage. However, it automatically wakes up and operates under specific conditions, contributing to extending battery life. Advantages of Smart Sleep On Significant reduction in power consumption When the BMS is in low power mode, lower power consumption contributes to extending battery life. BMS enters low power mode under conditions like high battery charge level, system inactivity. BMS automatically wakes up when conditions like Reduced battery charge level. System activity occurs. Manually configured by the user. 
final step. Go to the status tab. Charge indicates the charging status. Discharge displays the discharging status. Balance shows whether the battery is in balance. The current battery voltage is displayed. The current amperage being used by the battery is shown. Battery power indicates the current energy consumption in watts. Battery capacity shows the configured battery capacity of 20.0 AM per hour. Remain capacity displays the remaining energy in the 20 AM per hour battery. Remain battery indicates the battery energy in percentage. Cycle count increments the battery cycle count by one each time the configured 20 AW capacity is used. Cycle capacity amper hour. Cycle capacity amper hour represents the amount of energy that the battery can provide from full charge to full discharge. Time emergency displayed in case of a serious error in the BMS. Average cell voltage shows the average voltage of the battery cells. Cell voltage difference displays the voltage difference between the highest and lowest voltage cells in the battery. Balance current indicates the status of the battery voltage balance current. MOSFET temperature displays the temperature of the BMS's MOSFET. Battery T1 shows the temperature of temperature sensor 1. Battery T2 displays the temperature of temperature sensor 2. Scrolling down reveals the voltages of the battery cells. Cells wire resistance indicates the internal resistance of the wires connecting the battery cells. If the resistance is high, there may be an issue with the wires or a high internal resistance in the battery causing problems. We've delved into the detailed setup process of the JK Active BMS. This product is ideal for use with high capacity battery packs. Due to its large size, please be sure to check the dimensions. Leaving the switch on consumes a significant standby power. It consumes about 10 watts per day. So a 700 watt battery pack would be completely discharged in about 50 days. If the switch is left on, it's recommended to charge it periodically, at least once a month. If you found the video helpful, please subscribe and click the like button. Please check the video board or pinned comment for the purchase link. This has been Dr. Road from the Electric Bike Master Series. Thank you for watching.